You ever summon on a random banner and then suddenly you you find this new silhouette showing up and it's for this Frieza and you just think, ugh, this guy sucks. Well, this video hopefully will change your mind on just how bad this unit might be because I'm here to tell you that he's not bad. He is strong. What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Zunrami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. We are going to be running this full power Frieza. So I guess this is the troll Frieza now since we've got the AGL one. We're going to be running this guy on Extreme Physical Super Battle Road. We're going to be bringing him along with a team that is pretty stacked. Meet a full Max Lynx Transformation Boost Terrifying Conquerors team in which this Frieza's got ridiculous Lynx, ridiculous support, and we are setting up for maximum carnage. I'm really hoping that we can take some good damage on this event to set up for his passive. So let's take a look at what this guy does. He's a full power lead. We don't care about that. Causes mega colossal damage on the 12 key while sacrificing 8% HP. Kind of a, you know, not the most appealing super attack, but there's a reason for that. 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage. So you can tell this guy wants to do a lot of damage. Key plus two attack and defense plus 80%, and then the rest of his passive is basically the less health you have, the stronger he becomes. Key plus 1, attack plus 10 additional when HP is 90% or less. Key plus 2, attack plus 20 when HP is 70% or less. Plus an additional key plus 2, attack plus 20 when HP is 50% or less. And performs a critical hit plus an additional key plus 2, attack plus 20 when HP is 30% or less. Now, one thing to take note of here, it says critical hit is only happening when HP is 30% or less. Which means you would have to be that low to be launching a guaranteed crit. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do that. So that's why I've given this guy 23 critical. I also gave him three dodge with the skill orb because I want to be doing as much damage as possible throughout. And given this guy's links and given this guy's ability to do a lot of damage with the appropriate team, I wanted to capitalize because everyone on this team is going to be carrying the big bad boss's link. And what's great about this is that based on his kit and based on his super attack, you don't have to necessarily have Big Bad Bosses maxed out to be able to take advantage of it because leveling up Big Bad Bosses basically just alters the HP restriction where at level 10, it's a, it's across the board. You get attack defense plus 25. But with this ability that Full Power Frieza gives you, you'll be sacrificing 8% HP. Therefore, you are opening the opportunity for some of your units to get the Big Bad Bosses link simply by having a little bit less than 100% health. But everybody here has the Big Bad Boss's Link fully maxed out, so it's no problem. The only unit that doesn't have any links shared with the Frieza is Jice. But we're bringing him because he's a support and we can foresee all super attacks. Best Link buddy to run with this guy on this event is going to be either Prime Battle Frieza or either of the coolers that we're bringing. Both have max links. Both are stacked. And both are... Re okay, never... Oh, you know what? Actually, this is perfect. All right. So, never mind, not Max Links for this guy, but my team is Max Links, so that's still going to be the name of the showcase. This is a level 9 Big Bad Bosses. So, as you can see here, HP is 98% or less. So, all it's going to take is a couple of hits on this event or a super attack from this Frieza to get the ball rolling. And then everyone is going to be maxed out with the Big Bad Bosses. Every unit here basically supports and links with at least, I think, two or three links each. So, we are just carrying the most stacked team that I could put together with this guy. I'm bringing all the bells and whistles with the items. I'm also bringing the Bond of Sister and Brother for the extra 18% heal because you never know if you're trying to manipulate the situation to take damage and you take too much, you might have to gain some of it back. So we'll get some of it back with the Metamorphosis Link as well as the 18% heal right here. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's do this. And I think we're fighting four enemies, right? Yeah, this is Extreme Super Battle Road. So this is just a remake of the first season of Super Battle Road. So... Okay, so this first one, okay, unfortunately we don't have the right Frieza, but we could take some nice damage here to set up for Frieza next turn. I just know that this is extreme Super Battle Road, so that might be a little bit risky. I don't know if I necessarily want to be taking, yeah, well, whatever. All right, let's just do this. Um, we'll just, we'll just take a chance. Let's have my Prime Battle Frieza go first, attack the Krillin. We should probably kill the Krillin. I think that's going to be a all but certain at this point and then we'll have cooler attack whatever's left of krillin or focus on yamcha and nerf him up and we're also going to get a 24 key super for this turlis man 24 key with this means his attacks effective against all types and he could possibly launch an additional super attack 
Man, this team is loaded. This is ridiculous. All right. Let's see how this turn goes. This isn't even the t <laughs> this isn't even the showcase that I want to do, but you're going to get to see it. Keep in mind this Prime Battle Frieza is free to play. Watch how much he does. Hopefully he lands a crit. It's like 7 million. 5 million, not even a crit. All right, we took 149 on that super from Yamcha. Okay. That's okay. We can work with that. So we're going to we're going to kill him in one hit, I think. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. All right. So he's dead on a non-critical. This ultra super, let's see how much this does to TN. 3 million. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, Yamcha didn't die. Okay. Well, all right then. <laughs> Are we getting one more? Oh, we're getting one more attack, but not a super. All right, so that was not the showcase that I had intended. Also, it appears that since we're already at about 80, 70, 60, we're at like 61% health. We've already gained the extra key, so launching this super attack will result in an ultra super, which will not sacrifice more health, unfortunately. But... Picking up the orbs, we're looking at 787,000 attack on turn one before even getting the act, the actual attack stat. So, yeah, we're, we're looking at a pretty ridiculous team here. Now, let's see how much attack he racks up right here. 5.1 million turn one attack. That's pretty good for this older unit. And also, these animations are pretty good. It's not even anything fancy. It's got more of a Legends vibe in terms of the shading. And I kind of like it. It's a pretty unique super attack, all things considered. All right, so we're fighting Goku and Gohan. Um, don't really know how I want to play this, I guess. Well, we're not taking any super attacks this turn. We've got Jace on rotation, so we're not getting any super attacks. I guess we'll just, uh, we'll try to kill the Gohan, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go after Gohan. Frieza will get his ultra super. Cooler will get his attack as well. He's already maxed out. Yep, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to waste any items here. Let's just see what happens. 30. Okay, I made a huge mistake. Oh, my God. I've made a huge mistake. Oh, God. Please kill. We're taking so much damage. 4.7 mi- Oh, my God. <laughs> Never mind. He's dead. All right. So... We've just got the Goku left. He's not launching a super. We're going to nerf his attack once, maybe even twice. Never mind. I take it back. We're fine. <laughs> we're going to take some damage, sure. But uh, we're going to be fine. Jice is going to raise his defense before he gets hit. Oh, he's raising his defense twice. So these hits that we take right now, it's not going to do as much as I was worried about. Seven Double digits. Jace is taking double digits. All right. Okay. And we are at 90, 80, 70, 60, 52, or 55. We're at like 56% health. So that means we are not going to be getting the full effects of the passive. We are getting the key plus one, plus an additional key plus two, attack plus 20. So we're getting key plus three, attack plus 30%. We are not getting the extra attack plus 20 at the 50% threshold. So let's see how much we do here. I'm going to give him an ultra super. Let's see how much we can do to the Goku. I hope we don't get hit with a super attack. Um, you know what? Maybe to be on the safe side for the sake of the showcase, I'm gonna use a Ghost Usher, because I don't want this run to end tragically because of something stupid like that. So, let's just go ahead and do this, and do that. I'm not gonna pick up the red orb, because I don't want to gain health unnecessarily. So, how much are we gonna do here? Oh, I forgot to check the attack stat. How much are we doing? 3.9, okay, so about 4 million critical with about half of his passive attained. Still got to get the other half. So we're fighting Vegeta now. We can make it happen here. Woo-wee! That's a lot of attacks without having any idea what's coming up. Time to use a Whis. Let's see if we can take out that trunk, shall we? Trunks can go bye-bye. We can nerf uh, Trunks as well, and then we'll, yeah, we'll just kill him. 78, 73. I'm kind of expecting a super attack here, so if I don't get a super attack, I'm going to be a little bummed, because we're probably going to heal 
enough with the Metamorphosis next turn to fall out of the 70% threshold, which we don't want. We want to be taking more damage. All right, good, 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 good damage here. Never mind. 14k, really? Wow. I can't even take damage right. Every time I try to fail, I fail. You understand? <laughs> I, I can't fail right. I fail at failing. And now this guy's nerfed. Hopefully he's got a bunch of attacks lined up next turn before my Frieza gets to go. Alright, chill out, Bojack. It's okay. Alright, so we... Yeah, he's gonna attack me once. Oh, he's attacking next turn. I don't know if I can wait around for that. I think we're just gonna have to kill you. So we're looking at 800,000 again without any sort of uh, stacking going on. Except for... Actually, that's not true. We do have part of his passive. We do have... Wait, how much health does he have right now? 90, 80, 70, 60. Okay, so we have the key plus 3, 30%. And we'll give everybody else their attacks. Let's just kill him. We're going to take a little bit of damage here. 5.4 million attack stat. So we're, we're averaging out at about 5 million attack stat turn 1, which is pretty good for this guy. For an older unit. Alright, 3 million non-critical. We still got one more round? Man, we got one more round of this. Hopefully we can get... I don't know if it's possible. I'm going to try to get our health below 30%. I'm, I'm going to try. All right, so we're taking some some pretty scary damage here. I think what I'm going to do... Let's see if I can big brain this. I'm going to use Princess Snake. Reduce damage by 30% in the hopes that we take some pretty nasty damage. And... Uh, yeah, let's see if this works out. I'm going to have everybody target Piccolo. And let's see how we do. Full health, 30% damage reduction. I expect it. There we go. That's what you like to see, folks. 148. Okay. Give me another super. Come on, buddy. Oh, I think we just lowered his attack and defense. Ah! Oh! This team is too good. Well, you know what? We're showing him in his... When one of his best teams possible. So I guess I did the right thing. But, you know, if you want to live on the edge and try this sort of thing, you could try running this full power Frieza on a team with a revival unit or a heal factor or something like that. Man, did that royally fail. That failed miserably. All right, so I guess the appropriate move here would be to kill the Goku. Just because at least we... Well... Actually, I don't know. It might be better to go after... F F okay, you know, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have Cooler go first. So that he can kill Goku and then possibly attack again and attack Vegeta. And if we can, we can nerf his attack a little bit. That way if... Well, we might kill. But if we don't, we'll survive it. It doesn't matter. We're going to win. Let's just put Freeze in the middle to see how much damage he can do. It doesn't matter. Also, I think we... Are we under the 70% threshold? Yes, we are. Okay. So let's see how much damage we do with the Frieza here. Let's see what the final attack total is. Couldn't even get a Dokkan attack. This team is just so incredibly dominant. You guys should try this out. But like I was saying, if you want to live on the edge and try to have that Frieza attack when your health is pretty low... I would suggest bringing maybe a full power team on some event and have the Vegeta pair up with the STR full power. I believe they share quite, uh, two or three links, which is nice. And uh, of course, Vegeta has the revival mechanics, so you gotta take enough damage for it. You could also try the LR perfect set. A three million, oh, come on, dude, he couldn't launch a critical? All right, so we did three million with that Frieza. LR full or perfect cell would be nice because if your health falls below 30% and you don't want to take that chance, he can heal you. Or you could maybe bring even the int EZA cell who can heal you out of a 30% health bind. He'll give you back, what is it, 20% health? So there are a few opportunities that you could try this out. But overall, it's not the most practical thing to do. But I wanted to show you guys just how much damage he's capable of. So for those of you who are kind of unlucky, you weren't able to... Pull the AGL full power one. 
Just know that you have a nice duplicate version, uh, or not duplicate, alternate version waiting at home. You know that old meme? Hey mom, can I get the full power Frieza? No, you have a better one at home. And you look at this one, he's not that bad. All right, he's not that bad, he's okay, he's all right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and let me know in the comments your thoughts on that full power Frieza. Obviously, I couldn't, you know, use him to the fullest extent because I was getting very unlucky at failing. But other than that, what did you think about the unit? What did you think about the team? That was a really good team. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future. And click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. And always remember to Dokkan responsibly. Hey, Mom!